Here's a short explanation of the classic board game Jumanji. The game that inspired several films is great family fun. It's for two to four players ages eight and up with the average game time about 30 minutes. The objective of the game is to be the first player to reach the center of the board and yell out, Jumanji! Here's what's in the box. The board, four player pawns, one rhino with a stand, one timer, two dice, four rescue dice, and 33 danger cards. If this is your first time playing, you'll need to take the stickers and place them on the rescue dice. Each die should have the same one of each type of symbol. Place the board in the center of the playing area. Place the rhino in his home base located here on the board. Place the four pawns on their respective starting point. Shuffle the danger cards and place them face down on the game board on the draw space. Each player should collect one rescue die. They say that whoever suggested playing the game should go first, or just pick someone and go clockwise around the table. On your turn, you roll the dice. You move your pawn the appropriate amount of spaces on the board along your path. Then, depending on what type of space you land on, will determine what happens next. First, the blank space. When landing here, jungle dangers threaten you and you will need rescue. First, draw a danger card from the top of the draw pile. Read out the message to the group. Announce to the group the symbol that appears on the card and the number. Your fellow players will try and save you by rolling that symbol on their rescue die. Take the timer, say ready, set, go, and flip over the timer. The other players now have to roll their rescue die as many times as they can until they roll the symbol that was on the card before the timer runs out. There is also an hourglass on the rescue die, which is wild and can substitute for any symbol. If all other players roll the symbol on the card or the hourglass before the time runs out, you are safe your pawn remains on that space. Your rescuers will get to move their pawns the number of spaces that were listed on the card. Wherever they land, they do not have to take the action of that space. Place the card in the discard area of the board. Now, if time runs out and someone has not rolled the symbol or the hourglass, then you must move your pawn backwards the number of spaces that are listed on the card. Whatever space you land on, you do not take the action of that space. No other players move. Take the card and place it face up on the first slot of the Doomsday Grid. Your turn is now over. If you land on the wait for a 5 or an 8, the jungle is sucking you backwards. Each player rolls the dice one at a time, and if they roll a five or an eight, you are safe and you remain where you are. If they do not roll a five or an eight, move your pawn back one space. You do not take the action of that space. You keep repeating this until someone rolls a five or an eight, or if you're really unlucky, end up back at the start. Once either of these things happen, your turn is over. If any player on their turn lands within this area of their path, all players are in danger and everyone must roll to save each other. First, draw a danger card. Read the card aloud to the group, announcing the symbol and the number on the card. Announce, ready, set, go, and flip over the timer. All players, including yourself, must roll the symbol or the hourglass before time runs out. If you are all able to do so, all players move their pawns the number of spaces indicated on the card. You do not take the action of the new space landed on. Take the card and place it in the discard pile. If one or more players are unable to roll the symbol or the hourglass, all players stay where they are. 
The card is placed in the next available spot on the Doomsday Grid. Draw another card and repeat the process until you are all safe. Now speaking of the Doomsday Grid, be careful, for if the entire grid becomes full, that is the end of the game for all players. When filling in the Doomsday Grid, place the cards going in this direction. The final type of space is the Rhino. If you land on this space, you may take the Rhino and place it in front of any other player. It cannot block the game board center. If when it is your turn you are blocked by the Rhino, you roll the dice as normal. If you roll an even number, you may return the Rhino to his home base and move forward the number of spaces rolled, following the instructions of the new space landed on. If you roll an odd number, the Rhino remains in your way and you cannot pass. You follow the instructions of the space that you are already occupying. If that space happens to be, wait for a 5 or an 8, the Rhino will move back with you for each space that you have to move back during that turn. Two players cannot occupy the same space. If this happens, the player who rolled will move to the next space ahead. To win the game, you must be the first player to land in the center of the board and yell out, Jumanji! In order to land there, you must move in by an exact count. If you roll a number or a card moves you by more than what it takes to reach the center, then you must remain where you are. If it is your turn, you then follow the instructions of the space that you are already occupying. If more than one player reaches the center at the same time, it is the player who says Jumanji first, after placing their piece in the center who is the winner. In a two-player game, the hourglass is no longer considered wild, but the rest of the gameplay is the same. And now, adventurers, it's time for you to begin your task. Let's play.